Hi everyone, it's Savvy That Simmer. Cozy up and let's go over a Sims 4 save file. So today I'm going to be going over the Darth Maul file. It is a very small save file. It's Willow Creek only, so keep that in mind. This will be really, really good for those of you that only have the base game or only have a few other packs or if you are on console. So keep that in mind. This is console friendly and base game friendly. This is by the username of DVRTH Mall. So it looks like Durf Mall. I'm not really quite sure how to pronounce it, but um, yeah, so they created this. Again, it is Willow Creek only base game friendly. So when you load up your game, you're gonna see this Willow Creek save file and you're just gonna go ahead and click play and play save with missing content. So two things about this save file. One, it's gonna be Willow Creek only. And the second thing to keep in mind too is that all of the residential lots are not fully furnished. So some of them are gonna become coming with like this essential appliances like the kitchen and bathrooms, but some of them are completely empty. So it gives you the chance to go in and decorate however you would like, which I think is really cool and unique. Some people would probably prefer it to be, you know, completely decorated so they can just go ahead and, and play with it. But it also gives people the freedom that actually want to decorate. They can't. So I think that's cool. And you don't really see that a lot with save files. So it kind of gives you the freedom to do whatever you want with it. So again, this is going to be Willow Creek only, but as you guys can see here, we do have a few households here. So I do want to show you console folks this really quick. So all you have to do is type in the EA account ID right here, their name, and then you'll just click over here and click lots, click lots. And also too, you can check packs by base game. So that's what I did to filter it. So it's showing me only the base game lots of this filter and it's showing all of the lots here that is in the save file so just keep that in mind they're all in here and you can actually create the save file with these actual bills so so it's console friendly for you guys so yeah like right here we have the willow creek archive the willow lounge so you can grab these and put it in willow creek yourself and the best part too these townies are already existing with the base game so we have the Spencer Kim Lewis family, the Goth family, we have the Pancakes, and we have the BFF household. So these people already come with the base game, so you won't have to change that. So they did give the Goth family a makeover, as you guys can see, so that is cool. But the other tallies will be the same. Let's go ahead and get into the build. So, so this isn't really a save file that is like showcasing new households. It's mainly just builds. So if you're a player like me and it's you know you need to have new fresh builds definitely check this out and this will definitely be for you so as you can see the willow lounge is right here that we just saw in the gallery and also the, the willow creek archive so i do want to check out the pancake house it has been renovated and it looks really cool so it's good old bob and eliza over here so bob and eliza's home is really cool so i did want to mention too that in their disclaimer they did say that builds included in the save file are partially furnished with the exception of non-residential bills they are completely furnished so the items would normally come with a house you would buy that are included such as a kitchen bathrooms and they said that they like to do this for a reason because it's more realistic and then also too you can furnish it yourself and your own style that you like so yeah um i think that's really unique and most people furnish homes completely in a safe file so that is pretty cool you can take on your own you know your own concept and your own aspect with it so like this would be like this would be like the living room area over here and then this would be a bedroom potentially and maybe a, the garage over here. And there is this nice like little backyard too, which is really cool. And then up here, there is, looks like two bathrooms over here. And also maybe this is like a closet, but one, two, three, so you have three big bedrooms. So yeah, that's really cool. So let's go ahead and check out the Goth family household. So right off the bat, I am loving the outside of this Goth family home. I love the revamp of it. I love the green color on the outside and i like too how they have like a little boat out here and then like a car and then also too they have this nice big long pool and maybe this is like a little like studio or something like that so just keep in mind too that all this is going to be empty so it's just like just moved in ready so yeah you can do a lot with this build over here like these right here are probably the bathrooms and then over here is like this big giant kitchen area and then like an outside patio area and then probably over here is like a little nice lounge area and then upstairs too there's like a ton of space for bedrooms so um this right here is like where you would walk up the stairs in the middle and then we have lots of bedrooms for all of the, the household so that's really cool 
So now we are at the Spencer Lewis Kim household. And as you guys can see, the house is so beautiful. It's so modern. Definitely a lot better looking than the original build. It is a two-story home. So again, you know, it's going to be empty. I'm just going to repeat that so you guys don't forget. So it's basically like they just moved in. In my mind, it's kind of like Willow Creek is a brand new town. And they just had like a bunch of new homes built and everyone's like moving in. And it just needs to be furnished. So this would be considered like the garage over here. So this is probably like a like little study area over here. And this would be like a bedroom and a closet area. And we have like this big, nice living room over here as well. And we have this really big kitchen too. I love all the different archways that the creator uses. It's really pretty. And there's this like nice little patio area over here too. And then when we go upstairs, there is a bedroom over here. I'm assuming this is probably for the daughter and another bedroom too. So we have one, two, three, four. So there's actually five bedrooms up here, which is really cool. And I also really love that the builder put five bedrooms up here. So lots of space for this family to expand and grow. And there's also two bathrooms here as well. Can't wait to check out the BFF household too. The original home is not very cute. So again, this household is gonna be empty when we go into it. So this home is move-in ready and there's this big bedroom right here. I really like this bathroom too. It's nice and clean and simple. So there's two bedrooms on the first floor and then there's a nice like living room area over here and then a nice clean kitchen i think this looks really good especially with the base game items and if we go out here they do have a nice big backyard and a like cute little pool too and there's no swimming ladder um i hope travis is gonna be okay <laughs> and then there's actually a basement too so oh my god look at this you guys this is huge so we have like another cute like living area um, maybe like a fun like game room area and then another bedroom here Maybe this is like a storage unit here and then two bathrooms can go down here and then another bedroom too but Yeah, I love this one so much. I think they did a great job on this. I think it looks so good, especially all base game It's so cute. So that's all the households for us to look at. Let's definitely go ahead and check out some residential lots and also some community lots. I think we should check out this Willa Lounge. I really like this community lot strip that they're on. I think it looks really pretty with the background. So I also like the name of it, the Willa Lounge. I think that's so cute. So also all the community lots will be furnished. So just keep that in mind. It's just going to be the residential lots that are empty. So all of the community lots will be completely filled. So there's this nice little bar over here. And then we have like this nice little lounge seating area. The cool thing is there's this nice little basement too. So there's a bar over here. And then we also have a like little piano music room too. So that's really cool. And like a bunch of guitars. And then if we head upstairs, we have this nice colorful lounge area. Really cute, nice little place for your Sims to hang out. And then we have a nice little card game area for your Sims and just some more, and just some more like sitting area too so now we are right next door to the um lounge that we were just at now we're at the willow creek archive and it looks so cool i love all the details it feels so modern and so fresh so over here we have kind of like a kids center where they can come in and read and then also like play on a tablet and then over here we have the library section where there's like a bunch of books and stuff that looks so nice and then in here we have the like little gaming area and then out here is some nice outdoor seating for your sims so yeah this is so cute i love this lot this lot is so cute and the cool thing too is that it's located right beside this little park area for your sims kids to play in so now we are at this bar right beside the lounge and now that the walls are up you can kind of see it a little bit so i think it's supposed to be in the shape of a boat it's so cute i love it so it is a two-story lot so when you come in you have like two tvs right here you have a like bar area which is really cute i like that a lot and there's also like a sitting area over here so your sims can come hang out and watch tv and there's like these two fish bowls. I love that detail, it's so cute. And then if you go upstairs, there's more of a lounge area and then also a little area, a cute little area where Sims can like come dance and hang out. So now we are at the House of Gain. So this is a gem. I'm just loving the details and the level of all the landscaping on this lot. It looks so good. And I love all like the modern architecture to it. So when you first go in, I like how there's kind of like a check-in area into the gym. You also have two bathrooms over here. 
And then over here we have a pool and also like how they utilize the platforms over here. It just looks so nice and so modern. And then over here we have some more like gym equipment. So yeah, this is so cute, you guys. And then upstairs we have some more gym equipment too. We have an area where your students can come grab some food when they're done working out. So yeah, and also some more changing stations too. So, so cool. So now we are at the Magnolia Blossom Park and I think it looks so much better than it originally did. I really like these base game items for your children's sims to play with. I also like too how this is like actually sand over here. So your sims can like come over here and they can like draw different things in the sand they can also come over here and build sand sculptures as well so and then over here we have this nice little section over here where your sims can play chess and hang out and i like this too how like the bathrooms are in the back and they're kind of like hidden and this is what the inside of them look like just so nice and simple and plain and then over here in the very back, we have like this nice little wedding venue, just a little impromptu wedding. I love this. This is so cute, you guys. Just so simple. And then lastly, we have this little section over here, which I like how it has this like little cover over here. And again, it's like has a nice like grassy cover and then we have like a grilling station but yeah i like all the colors and i think it's really cozy so well, that is the tour of the magnolia blossom let's go ahead and move on to the next lot so now we are at this ginormous gorgeous home that is in that it's near the goth residence home so again this is move in ready so you can you would just have to decorate it yourself so it looks like these are probably maybe bathrooms or maybe this is a bathroom. I'm not quite sure. You can just kind of leave that up to your imagination. So we have this big kitchen area and this is probably maybe like a living room area over here and a nice like little sunroom. And there is a ton of space for a big family if you wanted to move them in here. Like this is like a big, you know, big bedroom over here. And I can just see like big families being moved in here for sure. Also, I want to mention too, they have this nice backyard with um, some nice planter pots and a cute little pool and also a base game um, child monkey bar set. And this residential home is so cute. Definitely a good lot for your modern sims. And just a reminder, you grab all these homes off of the gallery from the creator's gallery. So this is cool. I like this like little modern kitchen area and this nice like big living room and then over here there's more of a space too and you do have a garage as well and then up there's enough space for it looks like two bedrooms and maybe actually three bedrooms so yeah there's a bedroom here over here and here and maybe this could be a bathroom right here and maybe this one is as well or maybe a closet whatever you want to do with it so this is actually a pretty big home don't let the size of it fool you so this is a quote unquote the garage or you can turn it into a studio over here we have a bedroom with a bathroom and then this is the big living room here and you do have like a nice little side patio area and this is the kitchen and the living room would probably be like over here maybe the dining area over here but yeah this is such a cute home i love this and then also another bedroom can probably go here um and then you have like this nice big modern patio area as well as a pool but then if you go downstairs where the stairs are right here it's huge y'all it's huge so there's like another nice um like gaming area maybe a bedroom a bathroom could go here another bathroom another bathroom and then like two more um bedrooms so yeah this is huge so this home would be definitely for a nice big family to live in i love this house so much this is so gorgeous i can definitely see this home being in willow creek for sure it definitely looks like a nice modern home so let's go ahead and check the inside of it so this house is humongous so this is a like little library study over here and then we have a garage so obviously you can renovate that how you like maybe you can put like i don't know a gym in there or something and then we have a closet over here a bathroom and we have this really big open concept um floor plan so over here we have the kitchen area and this is where the living room would be over here and then outside there's a nice like little patio area and a huge big backyard and i like this too this is probably like a little like she shed or something i like that a lot and then upstairs is another big bedroom and we do have the bathrooms in here which i like so this has let's see here one two three four so four big bedrooms and maybe like one could be like a fun like 
you know, gaming room or something like that. So yeah, that is it for this house. It is gorgeous. I hope you enjoy this house and like have a bunch of fun families living in it. Well, maybe just one family. <laughs> so I do want to check out this house last and then I'll let you guys check out the other ones on your own so you have a few to look at as a surprise. So this home is so beautiful. I also like how the safe file is in the fall. It just looks really pretty with all the colors. So let's go ahead and check out this build inside of it. I like how too that the creator put the car out there so it like feels like these are like actually garages. So it looks like they took windows, yeah, to like make the garage. That's really creative. Oh, wow. Okay, so this place has a basement too. So there is a basement level. So it looks like one, two, three. So three. So maybe like this is the lounge. So this will be like a living room area. And then there's like two to three more bedrooms and two bathrooms too. And then going upstairs, um, this is a living room area, the foyer. And then we have a nice big kitchen too. Um, and then it looks like two bathrooms over here. You just have to furnish that. And then over here we have a bedroom. I'm pretty sure this is a bedroom. Nope, sorry, this is still part of the living room. And then over here, um, maybe this is like a walk-in closet. Maybe that's the closet. No, this is the, <laughs> I'm not sure y'all. Okay, but this is probably the bathroom. And then this is probably the closet. So I think with the white towel is like the kitchen and then the bathroom, so. But yeah, um, that looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and check out the second floor. And again, a ton of bedrooms up here. So there's one, two, three, four, four bedrooms. So that's a lot. And then you have two bathrooms up here too. And maybe this is like um, closets. Yeah, it looks like these are probably closets. So yeah, and then over here too, there is a ginormous backyard for your Sims. Um, and their kids to like hang out and yeah, I like this a lot. This is a gorgeous home So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it I love finding save files for you guys and save files that are base game and that are console compatible I'm always on tumblr hunting for some good ones to go over. So if you do enjoy my save file video overviews make sure to like and comment and you know let me know that you're enjoying it i i know that you guys do but just let me know if you want me to continue doing base game as well in my last save file video the 10 years later one a lot of you guys and asked if it was console friendly so i wanted to try and find one that was for you guys so this one is so I hope you all are happy with that <laughs> and I hope you enjoy that. But also if you want the world of Willow Creek to look like this exactly, go ahead and download this map replacement that I get for all of my worlds. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen now for you guys so you can see it and just download it. The download for the map will be in my bio. So make sure to check that out. And anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening whenever you guys actually watch this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys so much and thank you for all the recent support.